Oh, you know what this means. Yeah, we're going to see what kind of wiring I ripped out now. Which actually is probably not too far from the truth. Uh, as usual, it's time to fire up old Clanky. And old Clanky has not changed. Still just doing what it's been doing and hasn't gotten any better, hasn't gotten any worse. So it just is. Now, of course, that I'm going to start it, there's a bunch of cars going past. So much traffic you got there. All right. Anyway, we'll see when we get there. Oh, incidentally, another reason, unfortunately, that I'm actually taking the car, because Joe is right up the damn block. I'd ride the bike there or even walk. My back is fucked. Again, pulled it out. Pulled it out. Can't put it back in. So it's going to be a few weeks. Not good. He was just outside. I pull up, he goes in, and he leaves this fucking thing at the door to fucking attack. Look at this. He leaves this thing here to fucking attack. And that's what it's going to do. Even better is I got a cable with me. Oh, it's going to chew that shit right up. You love chewing fucking cables and remotes. Yeah, this looks like a remote. You want to chew that up too? Huh? It's fucking belligerent. Look at this thing. It's belligerent. Oh, it just wants to play with you. No, it's fucking wild. And it jumps all over people because people can't control their fucking animals. Oh, shit. Did you notice it's painted in here? Oh, dick. Did you look? Did you see that kind? Different colors and all kinds of things. Green is the same. Okay. So there's a little fuck up there. It's not straight there. Stop. Depends. 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 Oh, corners look like they need another coat. So, oh, fucked up line over there. All right. So what did they fuck up? No. I, I mean, there's little things, but when you walk in. The generic concept of it is that it's painted without looking at it. Like, no one's going to come over during Christmas and be like, oh, there's a line there. <laughs> you know, because that's everybody's rickety in the winter. You know? Oh, it looks nice. You know? <laughs> you and know? The, the doorbell, the doorbell is back hanging up now. Right. Oh, man, what's that brown spot on the ceiling yeah. now? A poop. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? The fuck is this shit? Oh, it's Ricky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're just looking at the little paint things. In fact, I found a couple little fuck-ups just looking around, like in the corner here. Now, everybody's house is like this. If not but working. just like... Could have done a little better job with that. And then there's a little paint on the wood there. You know, little stupid shits like that. Right here, nothing was done about that. Which you kind of don't see. And then I can't even, I maybe even the camera wouldn't even get in here just to see if he did a good enough job on that. But you can't, I can't even get the right angle just looking from the wall right here to do that. And then this other white monstrosity here, which uh, seems like a good idea, but <laughs> at the same time, it's like, okay, so is it what, did they forget to paint that? Is it unfinished? Is it, no, it's brown there. It's brown there, but it's white here. And that obviously is for the little thing. And the same thing over on the wall right over there and that actually looks nice because it breaks up the color. But then here is a little weird because it was more apparent with the light off here. But it looks weird just to have this. Yeah, now you can see it. Just to have that in white. It's like... Because then the kitchen is green. So that, that works. But then if you made this brown then it'll only be right one way. Like walking in, 
from over here, it would look like it, it you know, it just continues on and, and all that. And then whatever color in there is in there. But then of course, if you're in there, it's ground, it, it, it's green, ground. It's, it's ground and then green <laughs> over here, you know, then it gets all fucked up like that. And this was easily fixed or it will be easily fixed with an oversized plate just because. And then, uh, then we're talking about the fans. Right, I uh, removed the two fans from the um, rooms that have not been touched. That's the light kit from one fan. I the pull chain you can't reach. Right, but obviously <laughs> yeah. it's, it's... Right, it's all just temporary yeah. there with a cable tie. Right, because, and then, uh, right. It's just there as a light fixture for now until, until you decide to spend more money on shit. Right. Obviously and then over here there. there was a fan and now it's just a what's left kit. of a light kit. Right. Until nice. that's all done. Right. But incidentally, that fan was actually completely cleaned thoroughly and brought into the hallway. Where there was a fan that was fine and was working. Right. But, but no, I want to change it. But after we I want to at least this didn't cost any money. But after we show you how heavy the old fan was, taking that weight off of the ceiling was probably a good idea. Better. Yeah. And that will be obviously in a couple of minutes. Right. Um, and then you said something about the light kit. First of all, you can actually see it's a different color than the rest of the unit. And that's because that light kit was on the old fan, which is now on this fan. And you wanted a four bulb here, why? Uh, it's, it had a four bulb and I tightened it the way it was. So one light bulb would chooch down the hallway. Your right light bulb would hit the front door and the left right light bulb would kind of go into the threshold of the kitchen and then the one right above you would go obviously where that is. You see? Oh, so everything's all done. Fancy light fixture and all. You gotta figure out what's going on with that. All right, so coming up here, it's a little bit lighter, the color. Uh, the whole way in the front is the same color. This, just the, the way it shines, it's different. Yes. The ceiling is white, the trim is actually glossy. You actually did do that trim glossy even though it's small, just for the effect. It's too bad that's still chooch like that. The bathroom was actually repainted. That was thrown in there. I kind of just played the game. Oh, by the way, do this. The only thing that's not done is the bathroom door is not shellac, like the rest of the doors. They're okay. darker. But the entire door jam is painted white. It wasn't brown. Oh, he did the ceiling. He did yeah. the ceiling. The ceiling. And the walls. And the walls. Of course, they turn around and they say, oh, we'll cut around everything. But by request, I had them drop everything, take the towel rod off the wall. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to pull stuff off in five, ten years and see old colors. Now going into, this was the purple room. This was the purple room. It got, uh, obviously, oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, obviously new paints. The uh, doors and windows were glossy white. New crown molding, new floor molding. Um, the yeah, piece, new floor molding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the uh, table saw piece. Right, yeah. <laughs> that, that, has to, door, that has to go up yet. Yeah, right, that closet door was actually in the uh, other spare bedroom. The other room. But because this is actually a legitimate guest room, I yeah. do not want to leave it open. Right. So it's just works. Uh, okay. The, the whiff has her own stuff, but I obviously put the floor molding in because that's, we just had extra. Same exact thing, the piece of wood that was here was fine. We just wrapped it with that uh, sticky nylon stuff. The rod is like nine feet tall. I cut it, I drilled it. Does Shelf paper. Right, doesn't go nowhere. I would always hate going to friends and family's houses and you visit and you go like that and the rod is hitting against the wall. Right, right. Or the wood rod is bowed Bowed, because yeah. you didn't spend the money. Right, so this is hooked, the, the wood. Obviously it's flexing in the middle, but this dry, that's it. It goes straight up. Uh, undetermined about a light, probably not because uh, as you can tell, it's, it's a guest room. It's actually cascading into it. Yeah. Um, it is a guest room and it just needs a little that's it. The rug was original. The bed uh, was the... And the, you know, I gotta say the wall is actually pretty nice. Right, they skim coated the entire, the entire room. 
The room was so fucked up that it had to be skim coated. This is probably the flattest it's, walls in the house. I know, they are really smooth. Right. And I could have skim coated the whole house, but it would have been obviously three times the money. Right. So. You gotta, the, see, you gotta see the shade. The woman and I, the wife, whatever you want to call her, the other half, <laughs> we say, you know. It's supposed to be the better half. The better half. <laughs> the other. The, the other half. half. Uh, long story short, we had those white plastic blinds that everybody had. In the 80s, they were tin, they were gray, now they're white. You go like this, whatever, you have the thing over here. I didn't like that. That's all, eh, whatever. So then, we're like, well, I'm not going to put $300 blinds in a guest bedroom. Right. So we actually went to Lowe's, plugged Lowe's, <laughs> and the guy showed us the plastic ones. He showed us the louvers, whatever they're called. And then he's like, well, we got these. And there are two brackets, which are hidden. I spaced them four inches apart. Um, and all it is is just touch wherever you stop, even if it's a quarter inch. Doesn't matter, it doesn't sag. I'm sure over time it might wear out. Yeah. But wherever it stops, nobody knows. And obviously it's packed like this. Yeah. That's it. You could open the window, you could clean the windows. You put your thumb underneath here, you can actually take them out, uh, whatever. So, just because it's a guest room, we kind of just choo it at the enough. And that's it. Fungal? We got a new fan up here. Uh, yeah. Got, it comes with CFLs. 13 Ooh. watt CFLs, but they are, um, is that correct, the, the term A based? Yeah, or standard based. Standard based, yeah. which you could put technically any light bulb in. Right. Whether it's 60 or 100, whatever. But, like you said, as they stay on, they get they brighter. get brighter. Yeah. And if you're in here for five, ten minutes while you're working on something, I think personally, plenty of light now. The light is perfect. It is midday with full sun, but even at night, you do get kind of like a fluorescent look. Yeah. At night, so your eyes kind of get like, whoa, where am I? But yeah. For these fans, they're eighty dollars. The cheap ones have three lights. The more expensive ones look like big leaves. So, eh, it is what it is. The other room has the same fan, but we just flip the blades for just concept purposes. And this is the home orifice. The orifice. Which was a spare bedroom. Actually, all three bedrooms were bedrooms because they had three kids. And obviously the garage was a bedroom that in the previous I like videos, the, the uh, curtains. Yes, the curtains are actually the ones my aunt made for me when I lived closer to you huh <laughs> so we just kind I, of I like that I like the dark uh, you know the difference right we left the, the paint of course yeah the crown so it's molding. the same gray right that was here the crown molding was done oh, professionally the crown molding now uh, this guy's name is Pete these moldings unbelievable I had a carpenter do the moldings unbelievable oh, I had a carpenter do the, the floor this is a little collection of mine that my father um, actually has uh, one of his late friends when he was in a Corvette club. He had Corvettes and has, uh, that Chevy ZR whatever truck, forgot what it was called. He unfortunately, uh, my father, he was getting sick and he actually sold a lot of these cars to my father, which in incidentally just gave to me. There's yeah. a lot more cars in the attic that I choose to display because I don't want it to make, I don't have room. Right, and to, all that. And I don't want it to be that gaudy. There's a JK18 right there. Big part. Here, because he hasn't spent the money on a TV yet, there's just a big flag. Just to show the size of the TV that'll go here. Because right, it's going to be an 80 inch. Same, <laughs> right, same fan. Same fan, but the blades are the other, other design. Right, yeah. The other, flipped it up. But in all honesty, that flag does honor people we lost yes during 9-11 and the actual American flag on the left was actually the original flag that my grandfather hung back in the 50s oh. and 60s on his front door very that good material is not this nylon late yeah see style see how it shines yeah that is actually an original I don't know what they use um, how do I say it like a canvas cloth material right exactly it, and you could tell because it's yellowed yes so instead of waving it outside because they would shred of course I decided to hang it because obviously I'm an American American and uh, we the people you know beg my pardon
I moved my desk over here. And then obviously, as you can tell, if you keep watching the videos, the desk was down in the den. Uh, the scenario on the desk has changed. It's been a, bit, a little bit more cleaner. The shelves are a little bit more empty. The printer you broke is The over printer there. that I broke was sitting on top to the right. Every time you would print, which I could probably still mimic, every time the uh, cartridges went back and forth, they would go like this. Right. Right. Because yeah. it's rickety. Rickety. Uh, the file right cabinet. On, right on rickety. I uh, obviously had for uh, you know many years because everyone needs to put their bills away. So I said, great. The shredder is obviously not plugged in, but when you want to use it, it's close enough. It's basically probably the cleanest it'll ever look. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Of course, after a certain months, everything's going to start piling up. So that's the paint job at uh, XJO81X. That puts a whole different paint job on things. Oh, God. Obviously, switches and outlets were all changed to be decor. Ooh. Uh, all the bedrooms were original uh, crown molding and Tune in molding. in 20 minutes for the end of the video. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we got more stuff coming up uh, from today. That'll be tomorrow and probably the next day and whatever else we record. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe. And honor those from 9-11.